go all the way through. Okay, so now you'll be on the login screen after the reboot. Just log in. <sighs> Sorry if it's a little unprofessional or just uh, my voice is a little raspy. It's um, it's late at night and uh, it's my first time using a microphone, so I'm not really used to you know talking. All right, you'll probably get this uh, MX welcome box again. You can just click this here if you don't want this showing up ever again. First thing you want to do is updates. For that, the best way is just go to terminal. Just click this uh, start menu, XFCE terminal. Again, you want to make sure you are connected to the internet. So again, just uh, connect to Wi-Fi, the same thing you did in the live CD. Just do it here again. Alright, so again, this is the same thing you would do to update your system, even if you're on Debian or anything based on Debian. So, yeah, because MX Linux is mostly Debian, it works here as well. sudo apt get update. Then just uh, enter your administration password. And then once you're here, it downloads, um, well basically it, what's that, I think I forgot what it does, but it's only, it's part of the update. The next one, the next thing you want to do is uh, sudo apt get upgrade dash y, the dash y just says yes to the yes prompt that comes up, but yeah, after update you want to upgrade, it's basically just to install everything in. And then this part is going to take a while since it's the first update, but after this it should be uh, updated, ready to go. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about MX Linux, um, where you can download more software. Actually, yeah, let's just see it while it does its update. You start off with the MX Simple package installer. It's uh, doing the updates, so it might not, it won't allow us to do that. Let's see what else can we do? It comes pre installed with LibreOffice, which is nice. Uh, GIMP as well. Internet, you got transmission for torrents, Thunderbird for uh, email management, HexChat, that's like a. HexChat is everywhere on it, basically every distro. Not familiar with GNOME dial up, but Firefox as well on every distro. Got a Clementine. VCL, FX Burn. Basically, MX comes with a lot of uh, commonly used packages pre installed, which is kind of nice. Got a boot options. Let's see what we can do over here if it allows us to go in while it's updating, that is. Menu timeout probably want to set this to zero if you want it to boot faster. Um, basically such select what it automatically boots to. Enable saving last boot choice. Use flat menus. You can choose your uh, grub theme. And basically if you want to enter basically if you want to modify the boot up process, you do it from there and then click apply. This doesn't uh, interfere with the updates here. I mean, I've already clicked apply, so it's going to be kind of annoying to close it now. Okay, okay, thank God. Thank God it, it just did it. Not any issues. What else? MX Tools. It's been a while since I've used MX Linux. I think the last time I made the the previous up, the previous installation videos for MX is when I used it. I've recently switched over to Manjaro while I use Windows as my main desktop for my gaming PC for games. I mean, I tried MX Linux. I don't know. It's just the whole. It's just Debian as a whole. It's a good system, a good distro, but it's it's not my cup of tea. Anyways. 
you can create a live snapshot if you're running system. I guess this is similar to a time shift. Actually, it might be time shift. No, it's its own utility, but you can do this here as well. Um, package installer, you can install more packages. I'm gonna look, go over that quickly once the update finishes. Got boot options, boot repair, cleanup. One thing that's really popular about MX Linux that a not, a, not a lot of other distros come installed with is the NVIDIA driver installer. Most other distros have a tough time at installing NVIDIA drivers. Or I, rather, most people prefer to get a, get free drivers, which NVIDIA doesn't, you know, it makes it pretty annoying to work with. So having something that helps you out if you want, if you're using an NVIDIA machine really helps. What else do we have? Oh, one thing, it comes pre-installed with Adobe Flash. See if I uh, remember how we uh, remove it. It's probably in the settings or system. I mean, it's in the the best way is to go to the package manager and just remove it from there. But uh, yeah, Synaptics is secondary package manager. This is the one you find in Debian, as opposed to MX Linux's specific version. Got to our file manager, task manager. That's something not a lot of other Linux distros have. Oh, it's still doing its thing. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of tools that make it very similar to Windows. I guess that's why it's so popular. Uh, MX user manual. It's basically a copy of the user manual. Actually, it's over here as well. So I guess you don't really need it. Again, most of the, m most of what you need to know about MX, you can get it from here. Oh yeah, you also have to enable firewall, but make sure uh, make sure the updates are first done. Um, Adobe Flash Player. If you don't want Adobe, you can probably get rid of that. I think it's from the settings. Hang on. Alright, um at this point where you reach configuration file. Do you want to keep your current version? Or here they just want you to choose a default version or a different networking. I'm gonna stick with default. I'm just gonna type N. And then I'll continue from there. Alright, I'm connected to internet. Ethernet, Bluetooth manager, probably want to disable this. Okay, it's disabled by default here. When I was running a MX28, MX18, it wasn't uh, disabled by default. And kept turning on, which was pretty annoying. Oh yeah, LibreOffice, so you have that. MX Tools. Let's see if we have some options. Oh, we have Genie installed. That's pretty nice. Instead of installing Atom or a Visual Studio Code or a Sublime, I mean those three are better than Genie because Genie isn't very often updated, but Genie is nice no nonetheless and does have a lot of options and customizability. Just not as often updated as the others, but it's there. If you want a GNU based uh, um, thing, a GNU based uh, IDE, you can always go to updates from MX Updater if you don't want to use the terminal. But I mean, if you're using Linux, I would recommend using the terminal because it does become a little easier over time to do things with the terminal as opposed to other things. Okay, this is done now. So you can close this off. Package upgrade, reload. 
Alright, I guess I'd want to do a second update. Well, in this case, just uh, click upgrade. Enter your password again. Authenticate. Yes. Continue. This video is getting kind of long at this point. It's been recording for what 15 minutes after the skip, so yeah, should uh, probably end this quickly. Okay, this terminal can be closed. Upgrade was complete or canceled. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <sighs> I think it requires a reboot. Oh uh, nope, it's uh, it's done. Alright, this also opens up Synaptic Package Manager, so you can find any packages to install. Let's see, um, a good example would be Sublime, nope, Python, okay, Python's installed, 2.7 at least. I wonder if they have Brave Browser. Doesn't look like it. Um, Chromium. Yep, you can just install it from here. Just mark for installation. Mark. And apply. And apply. And this should download any package that you find in the Synaptic Package Manager. Then automatically close. When that's done, just uh, close this out and let's see if we have it. Internet. And yeah, we do. Chromium Web Browser. There is a way to install Brave Browser, but for that you have to go to Brave's website and install it um, through the terminal. Because I don't think that it's on Synaptic. You have to download the binary files from Brave themselves and then uh, do it that way. But um, not sure I'm going to go through that right now. It's, uh, this video is already kind of long. But um. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be my last MX Linux tutorial. After this, I'm basically switched over to Manjaro. Because, I mean, just Arch-based distributions, they're... I, I prefer them a lot more than Debian-based. The Aura... The Arch user repository, or... It's just uh, it's a lot better to work with. I prefer it a lot more than Synaptic or anything Debian-based. It's a lot more fun to use as well. and Chrome accessing. Oh, come on, don't mess up. Don't make me look bad. And also just a... Uh, oh, Mark executable. Screw it. I don't have time for this. Let me just check the internet is working at all. Firefox. Just, just launch Firefox. Alright, Firefox works. Um, I wonder. Please don't have what I think it does. at all.